So now we're going to look at the uh, bouncing tennis ball. So if I take a tennis ball and drop it from six feet and let it bounce up and down, we're going to look at a partial graph of H, which is measured in feet, and then time is measured in seconds. So my independent variable is going to be time in seconds. And my dependent variable is going to be height in feet. So if I find h of zero, that means if my input or independent variable is zero seconds, what's my output? Well, my output is six feet. So h of zero equals six, and I'm going to put my unit of feet. Now, if h of x equals zero, that's saying when is the height equal to zero, or this is also saying when is y zero. So that ha actually happens more than once. So this happens at x equals 0 0.54 seconds, 1.48 seconds, 2.25 seconds. And then there's some more. So we don't have a mark there, but there are more marks here. Now, if we had to describe the domain and the range of the function, well, the domain of the, of, of the function is just going to be uh, from zero seconds to when the ball stops bouncing. So technically for the domain, we could, we could count that for forever and just, you know, say that the ball is just sitting there. So we could say our X function or the domain is greater than zero. Another way to list that is uh, to say the function starts at zero and the time really could go to infinity. We would stop the experiment at some point, but theoretically you could just have this keep going on forever as the ball's just sitting there. Um, and then the range. Well, the output number of feet is between zero and six feet. So what you can do is say that Y it's kind of sandwiched here between zero and six, and then just put greater than or equal to signs. So Y is between zero and six. And then to put that in another notation, you can put Y could be zero and then a comma, and then Y could also be as, as great as six. And this part, sorry, I put this question for the range that should actually 